Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, Halls of Torment. So according to Steam, I've put 12 minutes into this game about uh, six months ago, which I 100% do not remember doing, but we have two heroes unlocked here, so I guess I must have. Let's, uh, let's use the Archer then, huh? Um, quests. Okay. Yeah, I do not remember a single thing about this game, so this is going to be 100% new to me. Okay, do we have any gold? We've got 700 gold. I guess we can buy a, uh, a health rank there. Pick up range. We can afford. We can't afford anything else. Cool. I guess we go in like that. Okay. As I said, never really played this before. My Steam thinks it's 12 minutes, so, I mean, technically I had one run and died within 10 minutes, so. Okay, Archer. Now, oh, we have, uh, hold on. We're going to put <laughs> the auto, auto aim on, I think. Okay. It definitely has, like, a real <laughs> uh, early to mid-90s PC uh, game type of feel. <laughs> By channeling force. What does force do? Improves different parameters depending on the weapon. Okay. Um, area, range... Pick up range? Yeah, let's do that, why not? Pick up range is usually pretty useful early on in these kind of games. Now, I think there is actually a, uh, a gear system in this game too, so, uh, you know, you can deck yourself out with a bunch of, uh, epic loot as we go. Health. Um, move speed. Attack speed, maybe? Or health? We've got pretty low base health here. I'm gonna go with attack speed, though, because attack speed's obviously a great start. Okay, do we have high crit chance uh, at base here? Are we doing some big, big numbers in some of these? Yeah, we do have a scroll on the map down there, too. Do we, do we go 10% uh, crit chance? Oh, base regen. Ooh. Let's go a little bit of base regen here. That sounds quite powerful. Okay, how close do we have to get? Okay. Okay, we've got a shield dude over here. Is that a carrot? <laughs> is that a, uh, a health pickup? Is that what a carrot is? Okay. Health. Defense. Damage? Let's go for a damage one here. Yeah, we're doing a lot of a lot of crits with this bow by default. That's kind of nice. Let's try and scoop up this XP, then we'll maybe slowly move down to what that uh, scroll-looking thing on the map is. One more little round. All right, let's go down. So range characters are always interesting in these games too. They sometimes tend to have an advantage. Attack speed again. Quick hands too. Let's do that. Okay, is there a dash or anything in this one? I haven't uh, figured it out. I don't think so. Okay, we want to go down there, but we also want to grab the XP. Um. Because we want those levels. What are these things? Metal slime looking dudes? I don't even know. Alright, let's head down a little bit. Let them follow me. So we can get this scroll. See what it is. There's also something up the top there. I have no idea what that icon is. Right. Oh, whoops. Should be looking where I'm walking instead of at the top of the screen. <laughs> Alright. Now, we're not really collecting much XP when we do it like this, unfortunately. Is this a boss? Or a mini boss? Okay. All right, crit bonus, defense, crit chance. I think he made me. Let's go crit chance. Okay. I'm gonna grab some XP while we uh, very slowly DPS this. <laughs> There's a boss here. 
Well, he's not really doing much. I don't know if he's a boss or he's just like an, an elite type enemy. Ah, uh, yeah, we got tagged up a little bit there. Uh, we do have some regen though, actually, so we're not too concerned about base move speed. Regeneration and health together? That sounds quite useful. Let's see that one. Um, how much further do we have to go for this, uh, <laughs> this scroll thing? Is there an actually a map map that I can look at? I'm not sure. Let's just, uh, run down here and see what it is, I guess. Let them chase me. Now, we're only level 7 here, so maybe farming up the XP early on is probably a better idea. I don't really know. Can we go over this or are we stuck? No, just walking over it. So yeah, game definitely has this old school, old school <laughs> ARPG type type feel and look to it, like you know, Diablo One or whatever, um, which is cool. I think I probably prefer, uh, prefer the aesthetic of uh, Death Must Die because it, it's a pixel art, but it looks a little bit more modern. You know, has a few more of the modern flourishes and stuff. But, I mean, if this game's got a really addictive loot... Uh, oh, no, we're stuck. Oops, that was a mistake. If this game has a really addictive uh, loop and gear system, though, you know, graphics don't really matter that much at the end of the day. Block strength, force, range, area. Can we re-roll these somehow? Probably don't have a re-roll yet. Okay, block strength, area. Jeez, I don't know, I guess. Maybe a bit of range? I'm not sure. It's going to be better there. Right, we've got to actually move pretty far down on the map here to even uh, get this scroll thing. So we're doing a lot of crits, though, with these uh, these arrows. Which is nice. And we're just slowly regening as well. All right, he dropped something. Let's grab it before we get surrounded. <laughs> All right, astronomer's orb, summon metal orb, circle around you, damage enemies. Orbs are indestructible, permanent, and increase with move speed. That's cool. Lightning strikes random enemies with lightning and stuns enemies surrounding the target. And arcane switches shoot out short range projectiles in a vertical spread pattern. Let's try lightning strikes here, huh? I don't know if that's uh, gonna be good. Looks like we got some uh, bit of AOE. Oh. Doesn't hurt to have uh, some extra DPS out on the field here. Okay, looks like we're getting kind of close to this thing. Let's hopefully get through with here without taking damage. Oh, my dodging skills are not on point today. <laughs> oh man, this thing is so far away. All right, we found it. Oh no, there's another boss trying to run out. <laughs> Needles at random enemies in quick succession. Arcane splinters and astronomy orbs as well. Let's go the uh, needles. Sounds kind of interesting. Okay, we've got another boss dude here straight away too. Crit bonus main weapon and crit chance. Pinpoint. That sounds quite useful. Okay, unfortunately we're just not collecting much of the XP uh, <laughs> like this. We're going to have to kite, up, kite around them and try and collect some. Man, some kind of magnet type thing would be really nice. Is that one at the top of a magnet? It doesn't really look like a magnet to me. I don't know what it is. Pick up range? Let's go pick up range. That might be really useful right now. Oh, it's heaps up here as well, but... Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. We've got two bosses at the same time here. This guy's way more aggressive too. Hey, buddy. Oh, don't kill me, please. <laughs> right, where'd the other guy go? Did he die? The other guy drop anything for me? What is that? Is that a sack of gold? Yes, it is. Alright, we're uh, almost half healthy, so we've got to try and play cool if we can. It's 
pretty aggressive on me here, though. Okay, what else we get? Crit bonus. Ooh, attack speed 15%. Base regen. Metabolism 2. I'm going to go with the regen because we're still only, <laughs> what, just above half now, but... We still have uh, plenty to regen here. Okay, he tagged me up there too, unfortunately. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that was a mistake, I think. How much health are we on? 172. Okay, these bosses are pretty tanky. <laughs> He's almost down. Oh, don't get too close. He's 99 health left. Can we kill him? Hey, we got him. Ooh, we got a gear piece. All right, attack speed. Oh, attack speed. Crit chance. Crit bonus. 50% crit chance. 30. These are huge buffs. <laughs> what do we take? Attack speed? 50% crit chance is pretty nuts. What is our base crit chance? I don't even know. I'm going to take the, uh, the crit chance. Oh, it's for the needles. Okay, um... We could buff the uh, needle speed too, I guess. Okay. We're still uh, only, what, level 12 here, so... Tell you what, getting, uh, getting some kind of magnet type thing here would be really, really nice. Collect the gold as well. Okay, good chance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got crazy crit chance now, I guess. Base move speed, base health. Vitality? Let's take vitality here. Try and survive if we can. Hey, lots of gold around here too. Going towards where uh, <laughs> all the uh, XP is lying. Multi-strike? Main weapon, proficiency stance, or proficient stance. Okay, let's just go back up towards this uh, one at the top of the screen here now. Okay, these guys have shields. I hope we can still kill them. That's okay. Oh, oh, can we dodge? No, we got hit. Okay, what's that? More gold? I'm not sure what that one was, actually. Damage from main weapon, attack speed is really nice. Hard to pass uh, weapon proficiency though, right? 20% is pretty pretty good chunk there, so let's see that. Look at that, numbers go up. Very good, very good. <laughs> Whoa, we've got an increased move speed thing here, and we've got an achievement for doing that. Okay. Well, let's take advantage of it while we can then. See you. Okay, didn't last that long. Uh-oh, we're getting surrounded here. This is bad. Ooh, we made it through. <laughs> okay, we're not leveling super fast because I'm trying to move around the map here a bit. Maybe it'd make more sense to, like, farm up levels early and then go do the map events. Kind of like... Uh, Vampire survivors, if you go to try and do some of the the map events, uh, you know, in the first two minutes or so, you just get slaughtered by the uh, the boss enemies that show up. But if you sit there farming for a few minutes and then you you go and do it, you're like, I can't. It's not too bad. All right, regen and health together. Multi strike. What's a multi strike? Great variants. Uh, let's just go some health and regen. Okay, oh, these wizard looking dudes now? Okay. Hey, buddy. Alright, probably would make more sense to farm up XP, but we're already kind of committed here, so. <laughs> 
We go down. We go down, you know. So, so far, this is a pretty cool game. I mean, it, it's similar style to a lot of these survivor-like kind of games. And, uh... Has a loot system, which I really, really like. I like loot systems in these these sorts of games. Death Must Die, obviously the one we've been playing a lot on the channel lately. Has a great loot loot system, so... Um, crit bonus. Let's go some extra vitality here. Make ourselves tanky. Never die. If we can uh, avoid it anyway. Okay, this thing's pretty far away, and we had to go down quite a bit to get the first one, too, so... Okay, we've got a shield dude here. So I guess these guys are considered elite, and the other guys were bosses, because the other guy had way more health than this dude. Oh, I got tagged up there, unfortunately. It's almost down. <laughs> what are you gonna drop for your body? Anything? Oh, what? He transformed. Oh. <laughs> or he dropped his shield. What happened there? Not quite sure. Either way, he's still alive. All right, now he dropped something for me. Astronomer's orb, arcane splinters. I guess we have to choose one of these two, huh? Vertical spread pattern. Yeah, I guess we try it. Why not? Attack speed. Oh, that's for the needles. Crit chance. Oh, let's go crit chance. I mean, we're critting a lot anyway, but... Man, I can't, <laughs> the first item we found was 50% crit chance, which is insane. It's cool. We'll take it. Um... Hopefully that means the loot system in this game is actually, like, meaningful and you're not just going to get, like, plus 10% attack damage or something, which is kind of lame, you know. One of the things I like about Death Must Die is the loot system. I think the way it's balanced is pretty interesting. You really do have to make some meaningful choices as you go up the higher difficulty levels in that game, which is cool. Alright, health, attack speed, more crit chance. I feel like buffer, buffer now health might, uh, excuse me, might prove to be quite useful here. Oh boy, we're getting surrounded a little bit though. These doggos, what are these? They are angry looking doggos. Okay, what are we, level 19? And we managed to survive here somehow. Oh boy. Okay, crit, attack speed, main weapon. Base move speed. Let's take some move speed here, actually. Maybe moving around a bit quicker might might be nice here, too. Oh, boy. That's more enemies. We're getting surrounded here a little bit. Yeah, yeah. No, nope, this is no good. Unfortunate. We really get <laughs> surrounded pretty easily in this game. Got to be careful where you're going. Taking the extra uh, health and regen here on the build is actually proving to be quite nice. And we're... <laughs> uh, needle, force, attack speed. Let's get quick hands. Okay. We are in the complete opposite direction of where we need to be now. Let's go over here. Okay, can we grab it without... What is this thing anyway? It looks like a hand. Oh, it is a magnet. Okay. Doesn't really look like it. I don't know why hand is a magnet, but yeah, sure. Damage. Let's just go with damage. Okay. Let's go move speed. Let's be a speedy boy here. Main weapon. 
Let's multi strike do again. Doesn't really say. Let's take it. Not quite sure what, uh, how multi multi strike works, but you know. Sounds like we might an extra ta attack might go off. Okay, pick up range, good chance. Let's go move speed here. Let's get buffing that up when we can. Base move speed. Here we go. Level 20, <laughs> 25? How did that happen? What does it unlock at level twenty five? Is that what is that what that is? Attack speed, main weapon, and move speed? Give me some uh, nice upgrades here now. Oh boy, <laughs> there was a lot of XP lying there, huh? Okay, main weapon and force. Yes, please. Okay, that's just about it. What do we get up to? 28. Okay, damage. Block strength. Could increase the damage of some of our abilities here too. I mean, I guess that doesn't hurt. Oh, uh, so much easier to move around when you're this fast. So these are XP gems as well. I thought they were gold. These are actually XP. Just different color ones. We don't actually have that much gold. 300. Okay, we got a... Is this a boss? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay. I see your attack pattern there, sir. Whoa. Reach level 30, nice. Okay, base regen. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we need to uh, get out of the... Uh, yeah. Get out of the middle there, I was going to say, but it was a bit too late. Okay, see if we can kill this thing. Yeah, that was a bit of a fight squeeze to try and get through, but... That regen coming in pretty pretty handy here. Oh boy, ouch. Oh yeah, we might go down here. Hey, okay, area force and tax speed. Let's go tax speed. Okay, we've got an achievement for that as well. Nice. Hey, he's almost dead. <laughs> We're still alive somehow. Yeah. Hey, we got him. Alright, give me something good. Alright, what do we get? Base damage? Base defense and health? Crit bonus. Ooh. Can we have two rings equipped at the same time? How does that work? Do we take a chest piece here? Base defense and 25% health is pretty strong. Let's take that. So I have no idea how popular this game is realistically, but I can totally see why people uh, <laughs> like it. Um, it already has an addictive sort of sort of loop here, which is really, really, really cool. Base regen, yes, please. We need more, 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 more. So it appears as though these upgrades unlock, but like the potential of the upgrade locks at a certain level, or unlocks at a certain level. We don't have a lot of health left here though, so we're gonna have to try and try and play cool. And collect as much XP as we can, keep leveling here. Survive and until there are only 14 minutes left. Oh, okay. Oh, is this where it gets hard, is it? <laughs> I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Crypt bonus, pick up range. Kinda of tempted for pick up range here. Help out with leveling. Oh, wins get through here, please. Okay, they should projectiles too, which is no fun. Oh, okay, we're almost dead here now. Nah, whoops, we ran straight into him because I was looking down at my health. Oh, well, we might be done just about here. Ah, there we go. On to caverns. How long did we last? 16 minutes. So what is... Uh, that means the run to 30 minutes. Okay. All right. So can we, can we see our damage stats? Spark. That's our bow. That was the big one. 
The uh, Phantom Needle is actually putting in some big work. We should have uh, upgraded that a bit more, maybe. And Lightning, not too bad. So, yeah, it looks like this uh, Needle one It's not bad. Not too bad. Okay, we completed some quests here too, which is nice. Return to camp. Okay, so... Ooh, hello. Uh, I guess we'll go on the Archer since we... Okay, what is this? Okay. Okay, different levels. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So it's not just one main map. That's good. All right, so how do these quests work? Do we have to turn them in or anything? It just says complete. Okay. Reward, 500 gold. I guess it just gave it to us already because we've got 2,700 now. Which means we can deck ourselves out a little bit more over here. Okay, what do we got? Um, 27 defense. Move speed's nice. Pick up range. I mean, all of these are pretty... Pretty good, right? Tech speed sounds nice. Do some of the cheaper ones so we can get a few things going there. All right, well that's pretty fun. That's all the halls of torment, guys. If you're interested in this game, if you want to see me take on the end game in this one. Um, let me know with a comment down below. Hit like and hit subscribe. Thank you very much. I hope you have an amazing, fantastic day.